Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody I am here to do um, a love reading for you and I'm using the Garbage Pail Kids deck. This thing is on fire today. I'm telling you um, everything just feels very electric around the table today so I'm going to keep it rolling. Um, anyway uh, this reading is for the Collective so it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what does resonate and toss out the rest, okay? Don't try to force it. And thank you so much, everyone, for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. The chariot on the bottom of the deck, I had issues picking it up, so I wanted to look. I feel like you guys are moving forward here. Um, this is having a victory as well, doing your healing. Some of you could be even making a house move. Um, buying a new car, perhaps, just, I feel like you're moving on with your life with this determination, right? Um, you could be a cancer, I could be given a cancer reading right now. Um, take it how it resonates, but thank you everyone for all of your support. I love you guys. Thank you for the likes, subscribes, everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. All right, Divine, please give me messages for the collective for today. Messages for the collective. Five of Wands here. Oh boy. Um, I feel like you guys actually, you could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, you're beautiful too. Um, mermaid energy, right? Um, very spiritual, very intuitive. Um, using your discernment because I feel like you guys, uh, you could be having some other people coming towards you in love. And there's a person wanting to beat them off with a stick, okay? They don't want other people around you. They're really feeling this competitive energy, okay? Um, yeah, but you're, you're very strong. And I feel like that's attracting a lot of other people to you. Yeah, this person knows they've got competition when it comes to um, getting your attention, what else can you show me here for the collective? You could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I've got Aquarius energy out here as well. Yeah. I feel like this, <laughs> once again, you've got a lot of options around you, okay? A lot of options. Um because you are in the public eye and you've got this very loving energy you could be very um like a somebody who's very spiritual a spiritual healer spiritual teacher with your intuition you could be another tarot card reader here on youtube whatever it is that you're doing you're being led to help other people and i feel like um all the lines here it just reminds me of the world wide web right um so you could be working online to guide other people through the same kind of heartache and betrayal that you've been through. And now people are seeing you. This, whoever, whatever masculine this is, they don't want any other options towards you at all. They do not want other options towards you at all. They, they want to bring that down if you have... Yeah, Seven of Wands. I'm just seeing somebody who's fighting people off in like every photo here. They're fighting other people off away from you. This person's going through a major struggle, okay? Is really what I'm picking up on here. Two of Cups. Because they want you. It's like, look at their... Usually, oh yeah, it almost looked to me like this was one person holding both cups. I just feel like this person is very possessive of you, extremely being very possessive right now, especially because you're out here putting yourself out here possibly in the dating field, okay? I feel like you do have love on, on the brain, right? Um, I'm here in Rihanna. Must be love on the brain, yeah. That keeps me feeling this way. Yeah. And I feel like they're really worried about you being intimate with anybody else. This person is um, 
they're feeling really possessive guys this is making them sick and I, I keep picking up on that some masculine out here with stomach issues right now just feeling sick um, because they see this coming to an end <clears throat> yeah we just had this in another reading they see it coming to an end man you could be dealing with the cancer you could be a cancer I've been picking up on cancer energy all day water sign energy cancer Pisces Scorpio um, not necessarily though the, these all sign collective readings guys you could be any sign you could just be um, ha being in that energy right so this is for any sign okay but yeah, this masculine out here, they're worried. They're worried sick is what it is. They're worried sick that you're going to get with somebody new. It's like they're feeling very possessive. Okay, that was my first reaction to this card, and I'm going with it. Um, they do not want anyone else around you. They, they know that you're putting yourself out there. a lot. You're attracting a lot of attention, and they don't like it. Okay, they know they need to come in and apologize. Right now, they're thinking about how they're going to apologize and get this Ace of Cups back. Um, I'm seeing this as the Ace, and the apology is something they're thinking of so that they can get this love back with you. You're, it's like they're like, this, this person, the collective is mine. The collective is mine. And I know that they have other people around them, other options. And I, it's like they're, they're getting sick over the thought of you with somebody else. Like it causes them so much freaking pain. Ten of swords. Ten of swords stuck all over them, okay? That ne the pain doesn't end for this person, all right? It's just constant pain over this. Yeah, over you being sharing any kind of, oh my gosh, this person's energy is crazy. They want you. They're very possessive of you. And if they, when they think about you being touched by anybody else, this person, man, they feel it. It makes them sick. This is what's making them feel sick is the thought of you getting with someone else and them never having a chance at this again look at the end to the ace of cups their blessing and love it's almost like they hold you on a pedestal okay um yeah they don't want anybody else touching you they don't want you talking to anybody else they don't want anybody else near you really collective um yeah king of swords energy they're realizing now that this no communication thing because he's holding two swords the procrastination of their communication towards you they're stabbing themselves they stab themselves in the face by not communicating with you by holding back communication and withholding love they they just they could have ruined their chances at a blessing in love here they could have they could have completely yeah devastated this connection okay and now they're feeling devastated like for real this is somebody who's very possessive of you right now I feel like they could be stalking you high priestess energy they could be getting tarot card readings on you right now to see what you're doing in the background because I feel like you're putting yourself out there, but you're keeping your personal life um, hidden. So I feel like they may be consulting with another tarot card reader or getting readings done on you. And the tarot card reader is telling them you need to make a decision and choose your path and stick with it. They're telling, the tarot reader is telling this person that um, you are their twin flame or a deep soulmate connection here. That they, this is a connection that should have come together. But they needed to choose a path. Okay? That's what the reader is telling this person. And they want you. But now the problem is, is they waited too long to communicate. 
and you are out in the public eye having a glow up being absolutely stunningly beautiful and I feel single with a lot of other options around you this person knows it's only a matter of time before you get with someone new and that's a thought that that makes them sick okay it's making them sick yeah so they are getting readings on you and the reader is a good reader they're telling this person that um, this is their soulmate connection their past life soulmate connection here something very deep and they should have chosen a path yeah this is I feel like they're getting a lot of tarot card readings they're getting a lot of tarot card readings paying good money for it too um, yeah, being divinely led forward towards you very slowly. For, it's very slowly, now it's speeding up, okay? Um, but yeah, they're, um, they're learning this information. That's really the feeling that I'm getting there. This person is turning to something spiritual to find out about your spiritual path. Um, and that means they're getting closer to the divine, little bits at a time. Six of Cups, they can't let you go. They do not want to let you go. This is all that they can think about. I feel like this person could watch tarot readings like a lot of them. A lot. They do this a lot for information. Okay? This is the information. That, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They may be finding out that it's the end of a cycle as well. But I feel like they're paying good money for readings or some kind of information on you. And I, I feel like it's through a tarot card reader, to be honest. A high priestess. Um, yeah, Wheel of Fortune. They're being told that it's the end of a cycle here. And you're an earth angel. And they've got to get on it. Um, they're being told that they potentially have the ability to do the same things that you do. If this is a twin flame soulmate connection, this reader is telling them that um, they're a spiritual being as well. And it's the end of a cycle here, and they've had their destiny on delay, is really the feeling that I'm getting. They've had their destiny on delay. They could have been with a snake. Somebody sneaky. Yeah, so they're being enlightened right now. I feel from a spiritualist, okay? Um, possibly even YouTube readers out here, they could watch a lot. This is like obsessively watching readings or getting readings on you is really what I'm feeling like here. But um, they are being reminded here that... Um, they have the same abilities you do, especially in a twin flame soulmate connection. So they, um, in a roundabout way, they're being told that they disrespected a spiritual union, okay? Um, and this person now that they, they have to kind of go within and process. This is really what I'm seeing. This is this person now going in. Um, building that web in their mind, everything is connected. Like they're like, oh, 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 you know what I mean? They're realizing a lot here going within. So, yeah, they've been told a lot of information. They're being um, awakened. Yes, thank you. Awakened to their spiritual path here. They're starting to see everything differently. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Pisces, Gemini, um, Sagittarius. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, Aquarius energy here. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles. So this person is watching. I feel like they're learning here. They're being enlightened on the spiritual journey, right? They're being enlightened as to who they are and who you are and who, uh, what this connection is all about. Let's just say that. They know that you are an earth angel. Um, they know that they have the, the same abilities you do. 
And so they, what do they do? They go and they study it. So this is somebody looking for and finding the answers, Was it, whether it's through tarot card readers or I'm seeing them looking up things on like the internet, right? Um, doing some research on twin flame soulmates maybe or deep level soulmates, the end of the cycle, wherever they can find this information, wherever they can find it. They're realizing... Um, they're realizing the importance of this connection, okay? And you. And here you are, um, you've got them blocked off here. You may have already blocked this person. Yeah, Page of Wands. They're realizing a lot here. They're realizing that they had a new beginning with you. And they, they dinked around with it. They were very immature. This person didn't recognize. I feel like they didn't recognize at the time. They were blinded. They didn't recognize this connection for what it was. They didn't recognize your value and you as an earth angel. They didn't recognize that you would um, someday be a star in the public eye and on a glow up. They didn't recognize any of this until they started getting tarot readings. Now they're informed and they're learning more about it, okay? Realizing the abilities they have within themselves, possibly as a divine masculine, divine feminine, right? So I feel like before they were too immature. This is like, this is like a baby here, just learning, okay? Um, very impulsive, very immature energy wanted to come in, play little games, have a little fun with a blessing and love, an ace of pentacles. Yeah, when they got this new beginning with you, they just didn't recognize you for what you were worth and your value and who you are. Now they do. Now they do, though. You're their wish fulfillment now, and they can see your transformation. I kind of get the feeling like your person is starting to transform a little bit, too, with this knowledge. Yeah, I, I feel like you're, they know you're their wish. They're, you're their wish. Period. Plain and simple. You know, I feel like they could have treated you like trash or trashed your name, garbage here. But on top of all of that, what they didn't, what they failed to recognize is that you are their wish fulfillment. Is that you are the earth angel. Yeah, this person remained in something toxic here. They were with the devil. Now they're realizing this. Look, they're bossing up. Emperor energy. They're realizing it. I was with the devil. This is a spiritual, this is spiritual war. Uh, I was with an earth angel. Wait a minute. I'm a divine masculine. <laughs> yeah, they're getting all of this information. And this is like urgency here. This card feels very... It's like urgency, okay? They're, they're learning here. And yeah, they want this back. They want their Ten of Cups. They're realizing what their destiny could have been if they would have made the right choices. Um, I feel like this person is obsessively getting a lot of readings done. A lot of readings that I feel like they're definitely going to another tarot card reader or obsessively watching them on YouTube, maybe. All right. And that's why they're so possessive, because they found out who you are. If they let anyone else get around you, they lose their chance at this. That's why they're, they're hanging on so tight. That's why they're so possessive of you right now. It's because they're realizing you were supposed to be for them. All right, so what does this person want to say to the collective? What do they want to say? Um, I'm sorry for judging you and hurting your feelings. I wasn't honest with you about my feelings at the time. I feel like I don't know who I am anymore. They're, they're learning who they are now, okay? That's the, that was the whole, that was <laughs> most of the reading. 
The distance between us is killing me. I long to hear your beautiful voice again. It's always been you. I don't know how to tell you the truth. I want a new beginning. Would, uh, would I be rejected if I contacted you? Do you still want me? Yeah, everywhere I go, I look around as if you'll magically be here. Anyway, Collective, yeah, that's what I've got for this reading. Um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button on your way out, right? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Help me grow and join this awesome soul tribe, right, if you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.